Hello there. The plan for today was to uh, go for a wild camp. I uh, finished work early, had the van all packed up first thing this morning. Uh, but sadly, uh, when it came to four o'clock and I could clock off from work, the traffic coming into North Wales was terrible and uh, journey time was going to be two and a half hours, uh, which meant uh, just didn't have enough time to get up into uh, the place where I wanted to camp. So I'm going to have to save that for another day and I'm frantically trying to come up with a plan B. Uh, I think there's a little nature reserve down the road from here. So uh, I'm going to wander down there and see if I can get uh, somewhere nice to sit for sunset. Hello there, right, this is uh, more for Abba uh, Nature Reserve and uh, it's hard to believe that the, uh, the sun over there is about to dip below the horizon and in only seven hours time it's going to be popping up again over there by which time I want to be uh, up on the hill so there's not going to be a lot of time for sleep uh, anyway, let's get comfortable and uh, watch the uh, the sun dip down before we head back to Standevan. Hello there. Right, I'm uh, back at the van. Uh, I've spent the last half hour unpacking my uh, big rucksack and packing my smaller day pack. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, get myself sorted, get into bed now. Uh, not decided quite yet what time to get up, uh, but it'll be very early. So I will uh, see you in the morning. This could be my all time record early start. My word, must be mad. Oh, well, hello again. I managed to get away from the van before four and uh, even getting up this early. I wasn't really out at first light. It's still uh, could easily set off earlier. No need for a head torch. Well, I was just, uh, but the main thing is it's unbelievably warm and humid so it's going to be a, a tough day today because I'm not a person that likes to eat Well, I'm making uh, good time. It's about 10 minutes until, uh, until sunrise. So that'll be something to look forward to shortly. Oh, wow, beautiful. Hope the uh, camera's picking that up, but just on the horizon there, 
we say uh, good morning to the uh, to the sun and I think it won't be long before I'm quietly cursing because it's going to be baking hot today Wow, I uh, didn't expect the wind to be this strong. It's uh, going to be more, more than uh, Gertie's big hairy muff can handle, I think, so I've got my little microphone switched on. But you can see the nut holes I've got planned for today from here. Uh, so over my shoulder, you've got cliff more, uh, which I may or may not do. Uh, then we've got Berra back and Berra Mauer, which uh, I definitely want to do today. Then Droskel. And finally, in the distance, a uh, little one popping up over there called Gurren Wigau. Right, the uh, wind has, uh, has dropped a little bit now, so uh, let me uh, get Daisy to give you a little bit of a tour of where I am and the sunrise this morning. Daisy, over to you. I wondered whether I'd uh, bump into the uh, Carnethai Mountain Ponies this morning and uh, yeah, they're out and about down here, which is, uh, which is lovely. I don't know if you can pick them up on the camera. Beautiful. Right, I've reached the uh, the brook between Droskel and Gurren Wigau and uh, oh my goodness, uh, take a look at this. This is a Droskel behind you there and then we get the glory of the Carnedai, the Allen, Carlin Lou Allen, Carnet Dafford. Just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And then behind me there, is Curran uh, Wigau where I wanted to wild camp last night. Uh, I wonder what it's like over there if there's a pitch, if it's really windy. Uh, let's go and have a look and bag our first nut away. Hello, right, this is uh, Gerin Wigau, or Gerin Wigga, probably, and uh, it's very windy up here, but it's absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'm not going to hang around Troskull next. Uh, I'm going to have a little explore around here though, just to see, uh, scope out potential wild camping opportunities for the future. So I've just uh, dropped, just off the top, and uh, here there's uh, virtually no wind at all. Uh, there's also very 
few even slightly flat places to put a tent so uh, I uh, would have struggled to find a pitch uh, last night uh, out of the wind because it's a bit of an unusual wind today we've got a very strong southerly uh, which you don't get too often up here So uh, this lovely path we've been following up Droskel is uh, actually bypasses the summit so it's uh, necessary to uh, at this point turn off and uh, go off path for a bit just to pick up the top Right, this is the uh, summit of Droskel. It's a, a plateau on the top. Uh, there's cairns dotted about. Um, but I feel like this is probably the highest point. The spot height is, is, looks actually slightly lower over there on the, uh, on the map. Anyway, fantastic, beautiful morning. Uh, next stop, uh, Berbach and Berremauer. Um, not entirely sure which one I'm going to do first. I haven't decided yet. I shall wonder that direction and see which way uh, the path takes me uh, and then after that we need to decide whether to do a little more we shall uh, we shall see Right then, this is the uh, top of Berrebach. Uh, nice little scramble, uh, getting up the uh, up the back, no problems really. And then over there is Berrebach, which is our our next and possibly final top. Uh, it's a, a very windy up here, um, so I'll drop down off the wind. That was a nice little uh, scramble up better back and you know it's a it's a bit of a warm-up because uh, uh, it's got some uh, great little moves on it uh, and the top is uh, just a just tiny little summit you can just about balance on that alone turn round In uh, my last video, I said I might talk a little bit about how I've been uh, been lucky in my life. So uh, I won't bore you too much with that, uh, but there's some interesting things there. So right then, to Berrimawa. It was uh, it was funny this morning. It did make me laugh. The uh, I went to put my uh, contact lenses in and uh, it felt more like 
I was putting uh, shampoo in my eyes rather than contact lenses. My eyes were like, hey, no, you knob. Is that past three? What are you trying to do? Uh, dear me, it was, it was horrible. Um, eventually, I persuaded my eyes to accept my contact lenses. Hello. Right, this is the uh, top of Berramawa, uh, just for a change. It's really windy up here. Uh, but of course, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, so I need to find somewhere to drop down there out of the wind and uh, to have my breakfast, which I've been looking forward to. So I'll uh, see you in a tick. So, uh, for breakfast, we have bagels. So, I've uh, had my bagels. Wow, they were gorgeous uh, certainly a massive improvement over the croissants last time out <laughs> uh, they couldn't have been much worse really so uh, yeah got some water on for a bit of coffee and then decide what to do next <clears throat> um oh, still in two minds whether to talk about this or not uh, but i've said it would so let's uh, let's do it so um chronologically speaking the uh, i suppose my look started um, when I was born uh, with my mum. Um, my mum is an awesome woman. Uh, she's uh, 83 uh, this year, uh, doing exceptionally well. Uh, but when I was three, um, my little sister was one, my uh, elder sister six, my brother eight, uh, my dad left and left my mum to bring the four of us up on her own, as well as uh, trying to hold down a full-time teaching job. Um, which somehow she managed to do uh, a massive impact on her mental health and in the process as you would expect um, but she's uh, been and is a uh, superb mum and so uh, I thank myself lucky uh, for, for that start in life she gave me so uh, that is number one a um, couple more things to talk about on that front uh, but Let's, uh, let's get on with the uh, coffee first. <sighs> wow, that coffee's good. The next thing I was really lucky with was uh, meeting my wife. She was eight I was 11 um, I had no idea at that point uh, that I was gonna end up spending um, sharing the rest of my life with her but that didn't happen till I uh, didn't get together till I was 18 and the uh, the final thing I was um, maybe gonna talk about today is an event that happened when I was 17 and uh, I, I was very lucky uh, to uh, to come through so uh, Maybe I'll feel better talking about that while I'm walking rather than just sitting here. 
so uh, we'll uh, pick that up again a bit later on. Right, behind me over there is a uh, little more, it's a uh, not all that I haven't done, it's got a lot higher than where I am uh, and the path you're supposed to do uh, takes you uh, way out towards uh, things fall for us uh, but I've got a plan and my plan is to contour around from this height and then just pop up a little more at the end. Uh, I've got to come back this way later um, it looks all right. It might prove to be a disaster. Um, it's nine o'clock, loads of time. Uh, the weather's not supposed to change until early afternoon, so uh, I'm okay on that front, I think. Uh, so uh, let's get cracking and see if we can uh, we can bag Cliff more while we are here too. It's about uh, 25 minutes since I left Berramawa. Uh, I've been following the 800 metre contour roughly, uh, but at this point, uh, the 800 metre contour goes way up to the head of the valley. <clears throat> and uh, to stay on that contour would make the distance m massively longer. But by dropping down, only about, about 50 or 60 metres, I'll uh, probably half the distance across. Last few times I've been walking, I've had really sore lips for uh, for days afterwards. Almost like I've just dried them out completely. Maybe it's because I'm just full of hot air. Anyway, uh, this time I've uh, tried to solve that problem by uh, lubing my lips with some jellyfied petrol and. Uh, Let's see if that uh, makes a difference. It just creates other problems because my, my lips are so well lubed. They keep sliding off each other. It makes it difficult to, uh, to speak properly. <laughs> Starting to uh, Climb now, gaining height, and it's hot, really hot. Finally uh, arrived at the path from Volvras. I've got about 80 meters of ascent to do to the top, and. Uh, I thought the uh, breeze would pick up here, but it hasn't really. There's a little bit of a breeze, which is nice, but I'm still uh, still too hot. Whew. The wind's back again. Praise be. This is the uh, the uh, spot point on the uh, west map for Lithuania. This should be uh, the highest point. It's 
slightly different approach going down. Instead of contouring round, I'm just going to drop down steeply to the bottom of the valley. Uh, try and find a way across the, uh, the stream that runs down the bottom there and then climb up the far side of Berbama. So I've just been uh, winging the uh, descent, just going where the, uh, the mountain takes me. I know where I'm heading now, I can see a crossing point on the, uh, on the river, I hope. Uh, we've had very little rain for weeks, so it should be fine. Uh, there's a few crags uh, behind me there that I had to navigate. I was going to try and uh, go behind them and then come down further around, but I've managed to find a little rocky path down, which is uh, steep, uh, but I've been absolutely fine. And now I'm on the grass, uh, so hopefully it'll be a nice a gentle descent down to the uh, crossing. Right, I'm down at the uh, bottom of the valley. Just uh, spotted this beautiful waterfall. So I uh, thought that'd be a good place to uh, come and have a sit and uh, recharge the batteries a bit. Gorgeous. I just stopped to uh, sit and relax and uh, just spotted a, an old aircraft engine in the, uh, in the stream below me, I'll show you. And you sort of know that sort of thing comes with loss of life. Sad. So when I was uh, 17 years old, I had a season ticket to, to uh, go and watch Liverpool. I used to go to uh, obviously all the home games, used to go to loads of away games. And then in uh, 1989, I went to Sheffield to watch uh, Liverpool play. Sheffield Wednesday, and it was a very normal affair. Uh, loads of uh, police. Uh, yeah, managing the crowd, they uh, checked your tickets before you got anywhere near the stadium, you couldn't get near the stadium without a ticket. And uh, I did what I always did, went uh, right in the middle, behind the goal, had a great time. A few weeks later, I, uh, I returned uh, to watch Liverpool play Nottingham Forest. And uh, we all know what happened there. How does this connect to me being uh, lucky? Because it turns out that what well, is close to the, the worst day in my life was also the uh, luckiest day in my life. I uh, went to the ground as normal, um, totally different experience this time. There wasn't any real proper crowd control, it was chaos outside. And then um, when we got in, we made our way towards the central pens. And uh, a lad who we bumped into on the train and decided we'd stick together for, for, the, uh, for the match, decided he uh, wanted to go for a wee. And so off we went to try and find a, a toilet. We found a toilet when we uh, came out. Uh, there's the uh, crowd just flooding in, couldn't get back towards the central pen, so we 
found a staircase and went up towards one of the pens at the side instead of in the middle and uh, as a result I uh, watched 97 of my uh, fellow Liverpool supporters be crushed to death rather than being crushed to death myself so there you go it was a uh, not something to talk about but by the grace of God because a bloke I met needed a wee I'm uh, still here today Isn't that absolutely beautiful? So to finish the uh, good luck story instalment for today. I don't mind that. Good grief, where's yours? When I was 18, I started going out with uh, my wife and uh, boy have I been lucky there. She is a uh, incredible, incredible woman. Life has thrown great big steaming turds her way. And she just backs them to one side and, and plows on. Uh, outwardly at least, with a smile on her face. Everybody that knows her is in awe of her. Uh, but the magic of her is that she doesn't really notice, doesn't really know how, good, how great she is. Uh, but we know. And uh, she's very precious. Right, so I'm about to say goodbye to Quim Ir Afengoch. That is the, uh, the water down there that feeds uh, Abba Falls. And uh, what a beautiful, beautiful valley that is. Just stunning. Wow, tired now. Is that falls over there? Oh. So we are coming to the end of today's adventure. Uh, back at the coast. And uh, Stan the Van's just down there, probably about half an hour away. Uh, but I suspect it'll be getting quite busy down there now, so probably good to end the video here. So, hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, thanks for sticking with it if you're still with us. And see you next time, all being well.